see where we're going. We're going to the dog park. Up. <laughs> Great to find the ball. Where is it? Find it. Find it. Good girl. I do just about anything for my dogs. That includes jump into a freezing cold lake for them. This January, I'm jumping into Lake Michigan at an event called Freezing for a Reason with a bunch of other Project Rescue supporters to help save rescue dogs just like mine and support the organization that helped save our Gracie. Back in 2011, we already adopted a dog we loved. Tonka was all go all the time, and we decided he needed a buddy to play with. The first time we adopted, we just searched Pet Finder and didn't think much about it. With our second dog, I did a bunch of research about rescues in the city, and Project Rescue made the top of my list. We filled out a thorough application and were very honest about our lifestyle and what kind of dog we were looking for, and Gracie was the first dog PRC suggested for us. Gracie and Tonka met, PRC made sure our home was safe for a dog, and we chose to foster Gracie. Another family wanted her while we were fostering, so we said our goodbyes and dropped her off. It only took the other family one night to realize that she wasn't the right dog for them, so they returned her and we took her back home. When yet another potential adopter wanted to meet her, we finally came to our senses. That is, Sean did, and he convinced me that we needed to keep her, and I'm so glad we did. A few weeks after we adopted Gracie, I was at a PRC event, and when people found out that I had adopted Gracie, they would say things like, Oh, I know Gracie, or Oh, I've been following Gracie's story. I was super confused. I did a search and found Gracie on Trail Animal Foundation's website. I was dumbstruck by the photos. That was my little girl. When Gracie was taken in by Trio and Project Rescue from Animal Welfare League, she was known as Mama Gracie. The man who had dropped her off said basically that she was of no use to him because she had already had her puppies. She also had parasites, mange, pneumonia, and only weighed something like 13 pounds. Now, to put that in perspective, she's now a 60 pound dog. And yes, she was fully grown. Gracie's not Mama Gracie anymore. She's my baby. She fits so perfectly in our family. She wrestles and plays tug with Tonka. She plays hockey with Sean in our basement. His stick handling skills have greatly improved. And she's a total cuddle bug. She curls up with me when I'm just laying around. What's really striking to me is, Gracie is absolutely perfect for us. She did need a little bit of training, and our family was very happy to do that training. I could see if she was taken into another home, how she would be too much to handle, and possibly even labeled as a bad dog. Project Rescue makes sure that dogs aren't put in a home where they're gonna be labeled a bad dog. They make sure that the home is great for the dog, and the dog is great for the home. I love that it says right on Project Rescue's website, we believe all dogs, no matter their breed or background, deserve the chance to live as pets. Gracie was given that chance thanks to Project Rescue. Please make it worth it for me to freeze my butt off. Donate on my page and help Project Rescue complete more families like mine and change more lives like Gracie's. At least please consider rescuing a dog instead of going through a breeder and especially instead of going through a backyard breeder.